Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the Wilder Flower.
Yet there's so much more to see so much. That's one called Cold. This next one is an old song that we've adapted Wilder Flower style. Um, I'm sure many of you bluegrass fans will know it, so feel free to sing along or dance or have a sip of water, whatever you need.
Hey, Monica. Can I try more guitar and more bass in my monitor? Yeah, maybe. An experiment. Well, I'm going to introduce our banjo player. She loves to be introduced before she's about to sing. Um, this over here to my right, your left, is Miss Molly Johnson from Pumpkintown, South Carolina. She's got some really cool Cherry Bounce Festival shades on. Um, pretty cool. We haven't done this one before, so don't judge us too harshly. <laughs> um. All right, I'm scared. <laughs> That's the first time debut of that song, Worn Out Trail. I like it. This next tune we're going to do is one that Madeline wrote. Um, we couldn't ever come up with a name with it, so we just went with the key. It's called the G minor tune. Creative. Wait until you hear how we came up with our band name, it'll all make sense.
Thank you all. Daniel and I just got these cool clip-on microphones for our instruments. Um, so we get to move around and be cool. And Molly's over there stuck in place. Um, she doesn't approve of any of the clip-on mics because, quote unquote, they don't make the banjo loud enough. So she's Y'all don't believe to that, that do you? <laughs> That's actually the reason we wanted to get one. <laughs> well, while Molly's tuning, I'll introduce our bass player um, who just introed that last one for you. She's from Weaverville, North Carolina. Just graduated from the UNC School of the Arts. We're very proud of her, and she's headed to North Texas University in the fall to study classical bass. This is Sarah Nell Chase. Last time we played a show with her, we tried to get her to do some Bach at random, and she, she was alarmed, but we'll see what happens today. Thank you. That's one called Janie. Um, and 
it'll be on our upcoming album, which we're sort of softly announcing to our live audiences. Um, the album comes out in September. We have a release show on September 14th up in Brevard. Um, but that single will be out sometime in July, so be on the lookout for that. I guess we should tell you what our name is since y'all are here and we are here and we need help. I'm just kidding. <laughs> be nice if y'all, uh, yeah, continue to follow us and um, come to more shows and just see what stuff we do and see if you like it, I guess. <laughs> so our name is The Wilder Flower and you can find us at The Wilder Flower Music. Um, we're on all of the stuff that's on the internet, probably. Um, and a lot of these songs are originals. That one that we just did was original. Um, but now we're going to do one that is kind of how we got our name. We did this little medley of a Dolly Parton. Um, what's the other guy's name? Oh no. This is embarrassing for the band. Tom Petty? Yeah, Tom Petty. <laughs> Anyone know who Tom Petty is? So out there? sorry. Forgive me. <laughs> but it's a medley of their two songs. And because we did it so much and people requested it, they thought that we should be named after this. So it's. The Wilder Flower Medley, I guess, but yeah, you can uh, hear it in there, I guess. Yeah, and I was going to say, um, my dad texted me yesterday that someone was calling our music Wilder Grass, and we were like, well, that's cool, but it's not exactly right, so then Molly suggested Flower Grass. Yes, you did. Danielle suggested Flower Grass. I don't remember doing that. Okay, well, it wasn't me and someone said it. <laughs> Um, anyways, I think you could call this that. Flower grass.
also match the Carter family in there. I'm sure you know this. Um, I was also going to mention, since we have a model in the audience, that we have some cool t-shirts, I think. <laughs> no? <laughs> well, we do have them, maybe not here. Um, so if you come see us at another show where we're more prepared, you can get a t-shirt. We have some brown ones and some sort of cream ones. As, you should stand up and show them, I think. Yeah, there it is. Um, they're great on men and women, I'll say. Um, and we also have some stickers and business cards. If you really want to stay in touch, you can come find us wherever we'll be. Um, and we'd love, we'd love to have you along for the ride. It's normally shadier and cooler than this. We're waiting for Molly to tune, and I looked at her to see if she was ready, and she said, don't look at me. <laughs> um, this next one we're going to do is a really pretty waltz that she wrote, um, and I've also been dropping this hint um, about our upcoming album. We had a lot of feedback that this was one of people's favorite songs, but for one reason or another, it didn't end up being a single, so we decided to pull the title of the record from one of the lines in this song. Um, so you can, you can ponder that while the banjo tunes. Thank you. 
yeah, if you have a guess at that album name, you can you can DM us and we'll verify. We'll we'll give you a free album if you can guess it. <laughs> Which means you probably can't. It's too hard, but we will give you a free album if you just happen to figure it out. Thanks. It's all about teamwork. How close are you to being in tune? Should Sarah now play some Bach? Okay, we're in tune. Molly said no. <laughs> Thank you. That idea has been shot down. All right. Go back in a pit. 
we're going to do a really pretty old time one now um, that Molly wrote also. I think one of the cool things about being in this band together is that we each have pretty different upbringings musically. Um, and so each of our songs sort of sound like us. You can tell who's written each song, but they all come together really nicely. And so this is one that Molly brought to us that I think sounds really old timey. Um, and then we mixed it up into a classic Wilder Flower mashup and kind of made it our own. So I think it's one of our favorites to do. It's called My Little Birdie. <laughs> Thank you. 
Y'all really never come through to dance with Danielle. She's always up here alone. All right, we're going to make y'all work a little bit now as punishment for not dancing. <laughs> I know it's hot out there. I mean, we've got plenty of room up here, but I don't think it's approved maybe for y'all all to come up here. <laughs> but feel free to go in the shade or something. I don't know. Don't listen to me, actually. Do you see any I shade? Do. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough out there. Yeah, it is tough. Anyways, uh, we're going to help you sweat some more here in a minute because you're going to um, clap along if you can. This is a good old gospel song, and we like to do it a cappella, but um, we added some clapping on our record, and it's kind of fun to... See if crowds can keep timing sometimes, because it doesn't always happen. But I bet you'll have some good time, and y'all are close to some good music around here. So we'll try it. I'm going to clap pretty obviously, and you can follow us. So feel free to sing along. This one's called I Am a Pilgrim. I am a pilgrim and a stranger while traveling through this weary land. I've got a home in that yonder city, and it's not, it's not made by hand. I've got a mother, got a sister and a brother who have gone this way before. I am determined to go and meet them over on that other shore. got a home in that yonder city and it's not it's not made by hand I'm going down to that river of Jordan just to bathe my wearisome soul if I could just touch the hem of his garment, then I know he'd take me home. I am a pilgrim and a stranger while traveling through this wearisome land. I'm going home to that yonder city, and it's not, it's not made by hand. I'm going home to that yonder city, and it's not, it's not made by hand. Since you, since y'all missed the bus on the first opportunity to dance, we've generously decided to give you another. 
which includes Danielle, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, I don't know about that. If one of y'all dances, I might dance again. Come on. There is some shade down right here if anybody is that tempted. appreciate you. We, we did have a dancer over here. I'm so sorry, they didn't stop to let me dance, so it was really up to the band. But we do appreciate your dancing. Yeah, I didn't mention earlier, but the way I know Sarah now is from going to old time fiddle gatherings. Um, when I first met her, I think you were mainly playing fiddle, and now she's now she's on the bass. Um, but so we figured we just sprung that on her. But she's such a good old-time bass player; she didn't even flinch. So that's pretty cool. We're lucky to have her. Just whispering some lyrics across the stage. Excuse us.
That's one called Till I Met You that we learned from Kappa Joe, which is the foreign landers in disguise, sort of. We did this really sh silly show on Valentine's Day. Did anyone come to that? <laughs> one person. That's my father. Madeline's dad. <laughs> um, well, you didn't miss anything. It was ridiculous. Um, but... <laughs> Danielle and I, I would say we've, we've lived and learned <laughs> about the whole Valentine's Day situation. I don't know if we learned. <laughs> we just lived. <laughs> so we, we, like, we did this whole bit where we had all of these awful, sad murder ballads, long lost loves, forlorn, lonely sort of songs. Um, I mean, if you want to go to a real Valentine's show, like, why would you buy a ticket to a bluegrass set? Like, right, you have to know what you're getting into. This ain't country. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong show, buddy. Sorry if you brought your date, you know? <laughs> but sweet, sweet Molly learned one actual positive love song. They paid tickets to see a happy show, so I thought, she might as well bad. give them one. And it's not an original. We had to source out from somewhere Right, we else. couldn't write that ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, that was it. The only happy song you'll get this whole show. Yeah, you could have danced to that one too, but too late. <laughs> I don't think anybody feels like moving right now. Yeah, probably not. Um, I am so. So we're going to do another fast fiddle tune, and you guys can just sit there and enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do.
Yay, dancers. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was awesome. And was it nice and cool in the shade? <laughs> Thumbs up. She's a fool, wrote her own rules and chased everything. Chase was a boy, I was a girl. We grew up in love in our own little world. We laughed like hyenas, no words spoke. Just look at each other, and that's how we. We just spent 45 seconds talking about how we were going to move quickly through the next three songs. <laughs> we're trying to cram as much music as we can into this set. Unless Danielle wants to say something and then we'll, we'll just cut one. <laughs>
so dearest Hate to say I'm onward bound You have treated me so kindly I must go where my hope is found Little kitten, oh so small How you lay down by my feet Will you lay down by another's When I am gone down to sleep Hummingbird, oh so fierce, are the flowers still sweet to sip? I hear your buzz pleasant to the ears, not for long, and the way you use it. My king of kings, oh prince of peace, my path may clear by the one I speak. I have sinned and I've been tried I will soon go to whom I see Dearest darling, oh loving babe, we may not meet till another day. I will miss those pretty brown eyes. Will you miss me by your side?
one more for you, and then we're going to turn it over um, to the rest of the bands today. Um, this next song was written by Danielle Yoder, who's been playing guitar all this time. Um, and it is out as a single right now. You can find it on the internet, on our website. Um, we've heard that it's been played on WNCW, which is really cool. Um, so this is one. You want to tell them the story? Or is um, Molly ready? I mean, Molly said she didn't know. So I guess this song is just a bluegrass ballad, like how we were talking a while ago, how most of them are like heartache songs <laughs> and murder ballads and stuff like that. But most of them are about the girl doing the wrong thing. And so I figured there needed to be one that the guy's at fault. So here's one called Ramblin'. And yeah, it's the guy's fault. So how about that? <laughs> Thanks for the awesome sound and great place to play. Hopefully we'll see you all again somewhere. Thank you.